What's going on, YouTubers? Corey Smith back here, CoreFX, bringing you guys another week of this uh, futures trading challenge I've been doing here with this Top Step Trading Combine. As I'm sure you guys have seen in my other videos, I'm basically taking a $50,000 account with Top Step Trading. I've got a bunch of rules here that I have to follow from them, and I try to achieve a target profit of $3,000. If I achieve that, they fund me with a $50,000 account that I get to split the profits on them with. If you guys want to find out any more details about it, just click the, click the link below of the description. You can find out how to do this for yourself. But I just wanted to take, have some fun and do it as a live challenge for all you guys, show you guys me taking my trading skill set to a totally new market, totally new um, asset class, and come up with a strategy off the hip. Um, just literally created a strategy that I follow. I created my own rules. These rules are good and all. I make sure you know, you're not over leveraging yourself. But to make sure I don't meet these rules, um, and like this, I can't have the count now that I've gotten the account high up to 50,791. I can't go below 48,792. So to maintain these long term while I'm trying out strategies, tweaking it and all that, I have my own daily um, risk parameters in place. I'm not risking more than 150 bucks a trade. I'm not losing more than two trades a day. If I lose 300 bucks a day, I'm done no matter what. Um, and you know, I have my own weekly and daily risk parameters. And that's what I'm following. So you're not going to see this account jump massively. Um, I'm not risking enough for it to do that. I'm taking small base hits and I'm seeing if I can show you guys, you know, the power of risk management and following a system and a plan. This is all live. I've, I've showed every single trade I've made every single day of the week. That's what these videos are doing. I'm literally capping every single video I make. I mean, every single trade I make, I'm making a video about it, recapping the day, recapping the week. So this is the fourth week, but technically it's the third week. Um, I started the last week with one trading day, the first week, I mean. So it's really the third week. After next week, I'm going to do a video for you guys going back into my trades, analyzing the last month of trading and finding out what in my strategy is working and what in my strategy I need to scrap. I'm going to show you guys what live forward testing and strategy adjustment looks like. How to take a plan, test it, and then see where you can fix it. Right, I'm going to go over a number of different um, aspects of my trading, uh, where my stops are, where my target are, targets are, the times I'm getting into trades versus if I took them at different times a day, all different things to see what I could be doing better. That's why I take a very, very detailed journal. I write every single trade, every single market condition that I experienced every day. This is my little journal here for this futures challenge. I go over every single day has its own page where I break down... Um, What's going on in the day, how the trade worked out, didn't work out, how I felt, how my emotions were. I realized last week I had a lot of FOMO going on. I was fear of missing out. I was trying to get into trades because I wanted to trade oil really bad that day, even if my setup wasn't there. And I was fighting myself. I, I didn't mess up. I stuck to my plan. I stuck to my system, but I noticed those emotions creeping up on me. So I knew what to look out for. So um, this is the next week of this challenge. It is Friday, March 15th, the middle of the month. And this is our third week, essentially fourth one, technically. So I'm going to go ahead and dive into all my trades here with you guys. This hasn't updated yet for Friday. I actually, unfortunately, had a losing day today. I lost 300 bucks, and this is now down to $50,200. Um, so we're still above our 50000 starting point, but we're now down to $50,200. So unfortunately, uh, we lost a little bit on the week. We're only down $200 over the full week, which I'll show you the charts right now. And that is not too, uh, not too bad for the markets we've been considering. All right, guys, I'll uh, let this go into Friday's trading day. Catch you guys. All right, guys, so real quick before I dive into Monday, just to show you guys a little bit of how the week played out price action wise. As you can see, this is the start of the week here on the 11th. Price moved bottom left to top right throughout the week. So we did have a nice uptrend. That looks like it'd be good price action. Take it to the daily. You can see we had a nice breakout. This was resistance I had called out to you guys earlier in the week here at around $58 a barrel, broke above it. Now we're basing up above it. But what really gets wild is when we look down here at the lower time frames. look at these kind of moves. Like this was our intraday move today, right? This light gray box. We had a nice basing pattern, we broke out. Nice pullback retest and then boom, fell like a rock. Pullback retest, shot up. 
right? So that's a lot of movement. Look at this here. Basing pattern, basing pattern, boom, price broke out. Boom, tanked and sold off. Immediately shot right back up. So look at this price action, guys. This was a nice clean break and runaway, right? This was a nice clean break of that resistance at 57.50-ish uh, range here. And price just ran away. That's a nice setup. That's the kind of moves we want to see. Other than that, I mean, look at this. Look at this intraday price action on the 12th. We had, yes, a steady increase here, and then just sell off, rally, sell off, rally, sell off, right? This is extremely volatile price action. And then you guys can see Monday's price action here was again moving up, but this was pretty much range bound throughout the day, right? We didn't really have any significant highs or lows being set. So all in all, it was a rather tough week, at least with my trading style. Um, a lot of whip y type moves, a lot of choppiness. So hopefully we get a clear week next week, but I'm gonna go ahead now, guys, dive into Monday, dive into Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, all my trading days go over every single trade I took this week, show you guys what happened, where the account stood and where we're at. All right, guys, thank you all. I'll see you in the next one. All right, guys, so it is now Monday morning, March 11th, um, crude oil futures challenge here again. And I just took our first trade of the week. We are long at 56.50. Got a 15 tick stop down here at 56.35. Looking to ride this up to $57 a barrel. As you guys can see, that is resistance. That is the high that held last week on Thursday and pretty much held throughout the week. Um, that's where I'm looking to ride this trade to today. Caught this long breakout pullback. Um, and I'll be looking to ride this all the way up to $57 a barrel. That's about a 50 tick move, We're risking about 15 ticks. So good risk to reward ratio here on this setup. Um, I will be keeping you guys posted as the trade develops. Hopefully the support level in here holds and we get to ride it to the next um, resistance up here at 56, uh, $57 barrel. Alrighty guys, wanted to follow up with you here on our Monday morning trade. Um, we got in long here, as I had showed you guys, on the break and retest of this level. Unfortunately, did come down, stop us out, and then shot up to our target we were looking to reach. Of course, unfortunately, that happens. Um, you know, just unfortunate price action. We had a break and retest. Continued to sell off a little bit more, hit 56.30. Very strong level here, and that respected it. Price bounced, moved higher, unfortunately stopped us out. As you guys can see, we lost $130 on the trade. We're now at 50310 so we're up $310 in the account going into week three here. We're now at strong resistance here. So um, we're at $57 a barrel, which is a very significant resistance level. Price has been reacting to a lot. As you can see, this is the fourth time we're hitting it. Although everything in me wants to short this right here because we are hitting resistance, it's the later part of the day. Volume slowing down, momentum slowing down. It's most likely going to sell off of here and probably stay range bound until tomorrow. Um, that is not my plan. And I'm following my plan, sticking to the rules and only trading my setup. So tomorrow, what I'm hoping is we have a base underneath of this. We can get a nice break and close above and we can catch a very nice trade if that happens. So on the daily chart here, you can see 58 is really... $58 a barrel is really the overhead daily resistance, but um, 57 is the closer level. And if we can ride 57 to 58, that's a full dollar. That is 100 ticks. That is a lot of money, right? On just the one lot I'm trading, that would be a $1,000 trade, that one trade. So a um, lot of risk reward potential to the upside. If it fails to break above, we will be looking for shorts, breaking supports. Um, so either way, we'll be looking for setups tomorrow, but I just want to keep you guys in the loop. This is our update. This is where we stand. I'll get back on here tomorrow, Tuesday morning with our setups we are looking at tomorrow and we'll see what we can come up with. All right, guys. Thank you all. I'll catch you in the next one. All righty. What's happening, guys? It's Tuesday here, March 12th. Um, back with this futures update. We had a nice range established here on the oil chart. We had a very strong break out above it. Been trying to catch a pullback here to get in long. Price looks like we might be getting a little bit of a pullback here. Hopefully we see it uh, trying to get in long here, trying to play this breakout above this resistance. 
looking for this to pull back, so I'll keep you guys updated here. We got a nice risk to reward to the upside with a potential move up to around $58 a barrel. Uh, that looks like our next major resistance. I'll mark it for you up here. See this 790 really is our major resistance level up above here. So, um, right now we're trading about 15 ticks above our entry. We need price to come back and pull back to get us in. We're not just going to enter this and buy it, you know, up it, chasing the highs. So we'll wait for price to come back to us. If it doesn't trigger it's in, continue to hire all day. Unfortunately, we missed out the trade. This is the exact setup I called for yesterday. Yesterday, I told you guys we wanted to see price basing under this $57 a barrel. It did. Unfortunately, this bull candle ripped higher without triggering us. So now we wait. That's part of the game. We wait for price to come back to us now. We have to be patient. We have to work on this fear of missing out feeling we have right here. Looks like price is starting to shoot back now. So we'll see if this is able to ting us in here at 57.25. I might pull my stop a little bit lower than 57.10. Risk maybe 17 ticks instead of 15, just in case it comes back to retest this broken resistance now support and stops us out. Um, so I'll keep you guys updated. As this trade develops, if a trade develops, if I miss out on the trade, I'll let you guys know as well. But this is where we're at. Tuesday, March 12th. We'll see what happens here. All right, guys. So here we are later in the day here on Tuesday, March 12th. As I've showed you guys, these trades I've been taking. Um, I got in on... So just to take it back real quick. This was the range we were trading a breakout of. Price broke out. Too fast for me to get a trade, never pulled back and gave me an opportunity to enter. So, um, let it run. Price did come up and base up here and I did get in around there. On a short, price turned against me, came down here and stopped me out below this base. Took a loss, had one more shot according to my daily risk parameters. Had one more shot at another trading setup. When we got this bullish engulfing off this pullback, we got in here. We had our stop down below this low. And we luckily caught this move afterwards all the way up to this resistance here. So I did close my position before I hit my target. I wanted to ride it higher. Um, but we were towards the end of the day, things were slowing down and I'm thankful I did because they reversed all the way down here first to entry, then they reversed all the way down to what would have been stop. So I'm glad that I exited all in all. It was a positive day, but not by much, unfortunately. Um, I'll bring this account balance up real quick for you. We're at 50,333. So, um, pretty much just chilling above our 50,000 starting point. So, you know, getting the hang of things, getting, getting a little used to this oil market, a little used to these breakouts, when to take profits, when they're likely to come back towards our entries, you know, things of that nature we're starting to learn. So, obviously our risk management's still here, bringing it to our dashboard. You guys can see our high was 50,791. Our current is 50,333. Our low is 50,000. So our low is where we started. Average winning day is only slightly bigger than our average losing day. That's not that great, but our best day is much bigger than our worst day. And this is what matters in here. Average winning trade 336. Average losing trade 168. So we're still looking good there. We're still maintaining our two to one risk to reward. Even though we've got 40% of our trades are winners, we've got 57% of our days are winning days. And this is where we stand. So we're at 50,333 after close of trading on Tuesday, March 12th. This is our next week and we will see how things progress. I'll keep you guys posted with the next trades. Alrighty, good morning guys. It is Wednesday now. Um, another week here with this futures trading challenge. Today is March 13th. I uh, wanted to fill you guys in. I did get in a long setup here 
this morning. Unfortunately, due to my inexperience with this platform still, um, I did fat finger one too many trades by accident. Had to close the one out with a small loss. Lost about 60, 70 ticks right off the bat. Um, just fat finger to trade. I didn't mean to get into. But I am in another trade long at the break and close above this resistance here at 57.45. It is turning against us right now. We have our stop down here, 57.30, 15 tick loss. Hopefully, um, you know, price is able to hold and turn around. I we have an oil inventory day today, 10:30 a.m. Eastern time. The oil weekly inventory levels get released. We will be flat by that report. Um, so we'll see what this trade does. Whether it's in the negative or the positive, I will be closing that trade out at before that time so um i'm in a long here guys my trade triggered long above this resistance it is initially pulling against us but hopefully we'll see if price can manage to find support and push back higher initially i'm not liking the rejection we got of this resistance uh, we'll see how this 730 hourly candle closes but we broke and closed above where my trigger was set for but this resistance at 5750 has been holding um again you know Let the trade play out. Just wanted to keep you guys posted. Uh, as you guys can see here with our floating profit lost, we are at minus 150 floating. We have 90 unrealized profit loss. So that's the open position right now that's in the red. And we will be uh, letting this trade ride. We're closing right before the news event. Just want to keep you guys updated here. Unfortunately, a sloppy error did lose some money right off the bat this morning that Shouldn't happen, but learning experience, that's what this is. That's why I'm streaming this live for you guys as I do it, so you guys can see, you know, how a totally new market works out for me. So, um, right now we're in the negatives on the day, but we'll see if this turns around. I'm still debating and forward testing to see if I even want to trade Wednesdays. I'm leaning more towards not even looking for trades Wednesdays, even before the event or after the event. That day's price action just seems to be a little bit more whipsaw and wild than normal days. As you can see, a lot of this ugly price action with these candles, push higher, choppiness, um, push higher, and now it's chopping back again. We'll see. We'll see. That's why I'm doing this live with you guys, so you guys can see the markets develop as I see them, what I see. Um, and so far, we've got this trade long triggering above here. Hourly resistance is holding, though. We'll see how this half-hour candle closes um, to see if price is going to continue higher or if we are rejecting this resistance and going to sell off again. All right, guys, so I'll keep you posted. I'll let you know how this trade goes out, how the day turns out. And uh, we might be back to uh, flat on the account. We might be back to 50000 where we started after today. But, hey, we are not losing money, and the challenge goes on. So I'll keep you guys posted. I appreciate it as always, and um, I'll catch you in the next video. All right, guys, so here we are back at it again Wednesday. Um, end of the day here coming up to the close. It is 4.36. Um, U.S. markets just closed at 4.30. Um, as you guys saw at the beginning of the day, I had gotten into a position, fat-fingered two trades by accident, got a small loss, ended up catching a winner after that. Um, I did close out up here at this red X. So I bought it down here at this blue X, closed out up here at this red X. Obviously missed out on a lot of profit potential. Um, You know, about 60 pick ticks or so, about 600 bucks, maybe even a little more if I caught the top of that. But again, guys, this is risk management. We're not going for home runs. Once I've been doing this a little longer and I've learned how oil moves and all better, then I can say, okay, I'm going to add a trail into my position. I mean, the real big limiting factor for me right now is just trading one contract at a time. Once I'm trading two contracts, I can have a take profit one, cash in that contract, trail with the second one. Who knows? Maybe we would have still been in this. Maybe we would have got stopped out here. Um, either way, I wanted to be flat today before the oil inventory report at 10.30 a.m. Eastern Time. Uh, volatile report. This looks like it went one-sided, but a lot of times you'll see you know, a, a, a choppy whipsaw price action, which when you have tight stops like I trade, it just doesn't do you any good. So this is one of those Wednesdays where I would have made more than um, I did, but could have been a losing Wednesday. You know, Could have been a no-gain Wednesday. So we're at $50,500 in the account. Um, $180 gain on the day, even after that fat fingered loss. We'd be at like $250 gain if I didn't do that. I still close this premature of my $300 take profit target I usually go for. 
Um, but that was again because this was a news day. And when I saw price topping out up here with this half hour candle rejecting with that wick, um, price action told me, you know, time to get out. If it wasn't news day, I would have let it ride to my target up here around 80. But because it was a news day, I did not let it ride. In here, got a little nervous, cashed it out. Um, again, guys, this is the learning phase. We're learning oil. This is just trying to figure it out using good risk management. We're still up on the account, 500 bucks. So um, it's going to be a slow grind. A couple big trades, though, if I let a couple of them go, um, can get us to that 53,000 target very easily. So I'll keep you guys posted. Closing balance for the day, 50,506. Um, we had two trades today, one fat fingered small loss. You can see in here for about 60, 70 bucks, six, seven ticks. Winner here for about 20 or so ticks. Um, let's see, 48 to about 75. So yeah, a little less than 30. Um, so not too bad. Decent day. All right, guys, I'll tune back in tomorrow, Thursday. I'll give you guys a quick little breakdown of what we could be looking at tomorrow based off price action here with this oil chart. And on the daily, you can see here we have a very nice breakout, right? So take an hour horizontal tool. You guys can see this $58 a barrel, $57 a barrel range was resistance. Looking left, you can see there was a lot of pressure here. Rejected price, rejected price. Boom, we broke through. So now, tomorrow what we could expect, a couple things we could be looking for. We could look to play, you know, maybe price just tops out here, sells off a little bit overnight, and we just get some range-bound market in here. We can look for a break to the upside. Maybe we could expect price to correct back into this level to retest, right, before we potentially head higher. Um, or, you know, maybe price just fully reverses back under this $58 a barrel, comes back under resistance, and goes back to trading in that range. Um, tough to say, but these are the approaches we're going to be looking for. I'm going to be most hopeful that we see price action consolidate overnight and try to catch another break higher tomorrow. But, you know, the markets do as they want, when they want, how they want. So this break could reverse, continue, stall out. We are just going to be ready to act when the market shows us opportunity. So, um, yeah, guys, that should do it. That should show us uh, what we're looking for for tomorrow. I'll hop on in the morning as soon as I get the trades rolling again, and we'll go from there. All right, guys. Thank you, and uh, continue. All righty, guys. Good morning here. Thursday, <clears throat> March 14th. Another um, trade setup going on here on oil. Told you guys I would tune in. As you guys can see, we have our range identified here on the 15-minute chart. It broke out prior to um, my trading time. Pulled back, has retested this broken resistance of the range, now acting as support. 30-minute chart. <clears throat> we got a break and retest with this hammer candle. Got in long after the close of this candle, rejecting support. Tight 15 tick stop below the range, giving us a shot to try to catch these longs as this breakout continues to the upside. We're now over $58 a barrel. Massive resistance down here. Price broke out, it's just continued ripping higher. Nice little basing pattern. Broke out trying to catch the move higher here. Um, just taking a swing at it here. Got in on this reversal candle that triggered our trade setup long currently seven ticks below our entry but we're sitting on this support level here we'll see if um, this 5850 support is able to hold the only other play I would be looking at today is maybe um, if we get a 15 minute reversal off this to try another long or if this resistance fails to hold, we come down to this settlement price here at 58.25. If we get our setup properly later, we could be going for a uh, short opportunity below here. But right now, we're in long. We're going to hold this out, see if this support holds. If it doesn't, we got a tight stop to stop us out for our 15 tick risk. 
Um, if it does hold and price moves higher, we could get a nice setup to the upside. Looking to ride this to around $59 a barrel. Showing you guys on the daily real quick. You can see this. Um, these are the lines I just drew, but you can see this that I showed you guys yesterday. This major $58 a barrel support that was broken and closed above. Price now is trading here, so we're going to look for a push higher off of here. We could even go up to test $56 a barrel today. I don't know if we're going to get that strong of a move. Uh, potentially by the end of the week we could see $60 a barrel, but right now we're trying to catch along off this breakout. I'll come back and keep you guys posted with the setup, how it plays out, and uh, if there's any other setups today. All right, guys. So unfortunately, this long opportunity failed to break out. Turned around, false broke, stopped us out. Got out for a 15 pip tick stop as we were talking. Uh, we did now trigger our short entry. So although typically flip-flopping long to short is a lot of times revenge trading and not the best idea, this is my strategy. This is what triggered the play. We're now below the settlement. We're below the 58.25 strong support. And price so far is moving lower. Our first area of interest is $58 a barrel. Very strong support here. I'm going to adjust my stop to break even. Once we get to this level here, it's not big enough of a move for me to cash out. That would only be risking 50 pick, 15 ticks to get 20 ticks, 22 ticks, something like that. Um, not big enough risk to reward for me. I'm looking for down here, 57.80, 57.75. So we'll adjust the stop to break even. Hopefully price bounces around and then continues the sell off. If it goes against us, we took one small loss for the day. All is good. Breakout failed, only lost once. Next one gave it a shot, would have been break even. So we'll let this trade play out and I'll update you guys. What's up guys, welcome back. Um, Thursday here, afternoon. Told you guys about a couple trades earlier today. Just wanna go over them real quick. Recap for the day is profit of $30. Nothing great, nothing special, but that number's blue. So that's something we could be happy about. Um, as you guys saw when I was on earlier this morning, we had a range top. We had a range bottom, right? Before all this happened. <laughs> Excuse me. And um, we broke out. Breakout wasn't within our trading hours. Pulled back and retested. We got a nice hammer candle. That is a rejection candle on prior resistance turn support. We got long. Price came down, broke below resistance, turned support, invalidated the breakout. We got out for a small loss, 15 tick loss, All right? Price then moved lower, broke out to the downside of the other side we were looking for shorts. Typically, we don't go both ways in one day, but we're following the plan. Plan dictated long, stop this out. Plan dictated short, took the short. Shorted it, moved lower, taking this down to the 15 minute time frame here. We got this fill here. Price moved lower. We got a hammer candle, another reversal pattern candle on $58 a barrel. This was a price level I was worried about, right? So I set my stop loss to break even once we came down and hit it. But then we got this rejection candle and I didn't want to give my profits back and let this turn around against me. So I cashed out here at $58 a barrel and then I was going to wait for either a retest here to short it again, hopefully now having enough momentum to break through, or I was going to wait for a little basing pattern here and then catch the break below $58 a barrel. But neither of that happened. So I ended up making more than I lost. I made about a 20 tick gain to the downside here. Not my typical target of 30 ticks, but we still made 20 ticks. Got out safely here because this exact move is what I was worried about happening. And boom, it happened. After that happened, I stopped for the day. I was keeping an eye on a break if we had enough momentum right after this to break and close above and go long. Never happened, we just had some fake outs. Never got the break and close and we didn't take another trade. So we can consider this a break even day. Um, one, one, lost one. Winner was slightly bigger than loser, but we were just playing it safe because we are on a very, very strong psychological number. Um, let's see what this daily chart is showing us here. 
Yeah, we're still in this bullish breakout, so, um, you know, still looking to the upside, but we've got some ugly price action here. That's just for the daily movement, right? So this gray, dark gray to light gray starts the new day. For that daily movement, that's pretty ugly. This daily movement, that's pretty nice. One clear direction. This, uh, this daily movement, pretty ugly. Shot up, shot down, shot up, chopped around with that long wick. It was just pretty ugly price action today. So the fact that we came out of a day with price action like that in the positive is tremendous. So we'll take that as a win. Not a big one, but we will take what we can get. Um, oops. Bringing this count over here so you guys can see my account. We're at $50,000, So we're still positive. We're up 500 bucks. Um, nothing to call home about, but hey, we're consistently profitable and going into our fourth week. So, um, Again, this challenge is to get this up to 53,000. Once I get a feel for this market, I can start catching some big, big wins. Um, really not worried about it. I think that uh, we'll have no problem hitting that 53,000. But we'll see. We could go into some drawdown. We haven't had much drawdown yet. So let's just see how this goes. I'll keep you guys posted. Tomorrow's Friday morning. You know I'll be trading. I'll be out there. I'll be making a video right here, guys. So in a few seconds, I'll switch it over to that. But for now, this was Thursday's recap. 50,528, one, one, lost one. This is where we stand. Thanks, guys. All righty, good morning, guys. Um, today is Friday. It is 6 a.m., March 15th, um, here on the Futures account. And unfortunately, uh, just got in a couple longs this morning on a breakout here above $59 a barrel. Price has now reversed hard. Um, Shot down below $50, $59 a barrel and took in both my stops out here. Minus 320 on the day. Um, that's my daily limit. I'm done for the day. I had, just to give you a breakdown of the trade, we had price breaking out here. Broke out to the upside before my trading time. Came back down, rejected um, this $59 a barrel with this hammer candle. Got in long. Price pushed all the way down into 59, back under 59, ended up closing back above with a really nice doji rejection candle here. My second entry long, I usually have two losses a day, that's my limit. I had really liked this setup long, so I took both of my positions on one direction on this long setup. Unfortunately, it did turn around in reverse. I'm trying to go for a little bit of a bigger hits here, guys. I know I've been taking a lot of smaller trades one contract trades, um, you know, just getting a feel for these future markets, getting a feel for how they move, getting a feel for how they trade. And uh, I just wanted to take a bigger swing today, looking for a, a bigger hit here. We're still in the positive. We are now down to $50,200. So we're almost back down to flat where the account started. But um, you're still getting a feel for these markets, you know, guys, still getting a feel for how they move. Still getting a feel for you know, where my targets are, where my stops are in relation to where these prices move around to. And as you guys can see, this looks like it might have tapped me out and then it might pull back up to $59 a barrel. We'll see. But either way, I mean, if you look at this price action over the last few days, this is pretty terrible price action. If you look at this. Yeah, you could say price is moving bottom left to top right, but look at these awful whips, right? We were lucky to have made some money this week, gave a little bit back. Um, so not the greatest all in all end of the week, but as you guys can see, this has been a really tough trading week. I'm trying to take shots. I'm trying to take trades. I'm trying to stay active. I'm not forcing trades, but I'm trying to not sit on the sidelines too much. You know, it's a newer market. It's uh, futures is new to me. Trading crude oil in the futures market is new to me. So I want to try to get in the markets as much as I can. I want to try to, um, you know, take chances and take shots as much as I can. It's looking like this 5890. 58.89 would have been a better place for a stop, especially with this yellow settlement bar here. Average closing price from yesterday. Price typically responds to that a lot, as you can see, looking left. Um, but, you know, I'll, I'll take it in my notes. After I have uh, the first month down of trading here, I'm going to go through and break down all my trades, see what's working, what's not working, what I should do more of, do less of, things like that. So we're in the forward testing phase, guys. We're in a strategy testing phase, seeing what works and what doesn't work. Today, put a little bit heavier uh, position on, a little bit more powder, and it did turn around and stop us out. 
I'm done for the day. It's Friday. I'm done for the weekend. I'm going to close these charts out as soon as I'm done this video. So I have no temptation to trade at all. I'm still in some Forex trades. So I'm going to go ahead and monitor those. I'm going to go ahead and stick to those. And the futures is done for me for the week, guys. Pretty much a flat week. End of the week at 50,200. Start of the week at about 50,300. So slightly down, but basically flat. All right, guys. We'll be uh, getting to it next week. Have a great weekend, everybody. Um, and I'll talk to you later. All right, guys, so it's Friday afternoon. I uh, showed you guys these setups I was taking this morning. Um, just taking it down real quick to recap. I was live with you guys when they got stopped out, but just to show you where we're at, this is some wild price action. Um, we got in long here, right? We got in long once on this rejection here, once on this rejection here. We're hoping to continue higher, and then price went and did this. <laughs> Tanked all the way down. Dead cap bounced, bounced all the way back up. So, um, you know, uh, not the best price action here. We got stopped out for these two trades for a loss. Um, bringing this over here is where our balance sits at $50,200. And um, that'll do it for the day for Friday. So um, that pretty much wraps up the trading week. I uh, hope you guys are enjoying following this journey with me. It's pretty cool that I get to broadcast live every trade I take with you guys. Not many traders will do that. Um, I know this is just the you know simulator challenge account, but um, you know still showing you guys every single trade I make every single day. You're watching my account balance grow and fall with me, and uh, it's just a pretty cool experience to be able to do with you guys. So I hope you guys are enjoying these. I hope you guys tune in for next week's. I'm going to, after next week's video, I'm going to dive into my um, breakdown of my trades, as I said earlier in the video. I'm going to dive into what I could be doing right or wrong or improve, and hopefully you guys can get a little insight into what it looks like to test out a strategy, put it into real market, journal it, follow it, and then look back at yourself and your actions and your trading and see what you're doing wrong, what you're doing right. Adjust your trading plan to improve yourself as a trader. Every week, every day, every month, we have to be doing these things. I'm just showing you guys live as I'm doing it with a totally new market, totally new strategy that I just put together myself on the whim. So uh, not too bad so far. We're still in the green. Um, losing week, back down to $50,200, but considering I lost 200 bucks all week and I traded 10 times plus in a new market, new strategy, not too shabby, guys. All right, so I'll be, I'll be keeping you guys posted. I'll be updating you guys. I'll be showing all these live trades with you. So... Um, I appreciate you guys. As always, please join next week's video. Come and check it out. See how we're doing. See how next week's trades go. Follow me along my trades as I do them. And it really means a lot to me, guys, being here. So I hope you guys are enjoying seeing this too and getting some insight into the day of the life of a trader and what this stuff looks like. All right. Thank you, guys. Have a blessed weekend, and I'll catch you all next week.